Hey what's up everyone, in this video I will show you how to create this incredible 3D web interaction using Wix Studio, so let's get into it. So first of all, if you're new to Wix Studio, make sure to check out my other video where I demonstrated how to build an entire website from scratch. And for this one, we're gonna focus on creating this interaction featuring a very nice parallax mouse effect. This interaction works really well to create a 3D illusion that will bring your website to the next level. Alright, so let's get started. So here we are in the Wix Studio dashboard. So let's click here to create a new site and select start from a blank canvas. Alright, so here we have a blank space. So by default, it's gonna give you some uh, default section. So we don't need this. So let's just get rid of this. So just simply select this and hit delete. And let's also remove the header section. So the only thing that remains is the main section in the middle. So with this section selected, I'm going to switch the responsive behavior to fit to screen to make sure that it will always expand to the full screen. And let's change the color to a darker gray color. So you can click add to add a custom color. So let's go with something like a little bit bluish gray like this. And then let's right click on the section to open the menu and let's go to the quick add tab and select a video box so now we have this video box component floating inside these containers so in the contextual menu let's click on change video and from here you can browse through a lot of different video assets from the wix libraries so let's go to this tab and select transparent videos and then it's going to give you a lot of different video assets here so you can just hover to preview the animation uh, so i really like this one so let's select this and click update so now the video component is being updated to the one that i just selected so now let's scale it much bigger and on the right panels let's switch the responsive behavior to relative width and then you can click here to preview the animations so yeah, it's looking really good on this gray background. Uh, so let's click here to go back. Maybe scale it a little bit bigger. All right, so next let's select the containers, right click and add a title. So I'm going to give it some generic title like illusion and go to the right panels and switch to center alive. And also click here to center it to the viewport and change color to white. And I also wanted to change it to a different font. Maybe a script font would be nice. Uh, so yeah, something like this. Uh, so let's click preview. So now we have this text on top of the video like this. So the next thing I want to do is to create this parallax effect between this transparent video and the text. So we can create that kind of illusion of a 3D space. So now let's select the transparent videos and go to the interaction tab on the right panel. And then click here to add a mouse effect and in here we have a lot of different options but for this one i'm going to use this track 3d and then let's click here to see how it works um so yeah it's looking pretty cool but a little bit too much so let's go back and adjust the motion properties uh, so click here and click on adjust animation and for the angle let's reduce it to 10 uh, degree distance uh, maybe something like 50 pixel and perspective let's go with 8 and you can preview the interaction right from here um, so for the movements axis let's select both all right so let's click here to preview so now you can see that the interaction is so much better it's more subtle and elegant all right so now let's go back and i'm going to add the same interaction to this text right here so let's select the text and go to the interaction tab and add a mouse effect like track 3d and let's adjust the animation so i'm going to set pretty much the same properties at the um, transparent video except for the distance i'm going to reduce the distance so it will behave a little bit different and let's set 8 for perspective and now as you preview, you can see that there's a slight offset between the text and the video that create a really cool parallax effect as you move the mouse. Alright, so now let's go back to the editor views. And the next thing I want to do is to 
add some elements on the side to fill up the space as well as to enhance the whole parallax interaction here. Alright, so now let's select the section, uh, right click and add a container and click on this button here to expand its full screen and let's go to the layer panels and move it way down below all the elements and go to the design tab and reduce the background opacity by zero so now we can have a transparent container and next let's add a image to this container and scale it a little bit bigger and click here to change the image and for this one i'm going to use my own image so I have this PNG image of blurry rocks. Uh, so all I have to do is to drag it into this and it will automatically upload to the site. And then let's click update. And now we have this rock uh, image in the container. So let's align it to the left and manually move it over to the edge of the screen. And duplicate this one and move it to the right edge of the screen. So after a few adjustments, this is what we have. So now let's select one of these rocks and add a mouse effect to it. And for this one, I'm going to select track instead of track 3D. Uh, so this is like a more simplified version of track 3D. Uh, so I find it's a little bit easier to control. Uh, so now when you move the mouse, you can see that the rock is following along. So first let's reduce the distance to 150. So that will reduce the range of movement, which makes it a little bit more subtle. Alright, so next let's do the same for the rock on the right, add a track interaction. And for this one, let's adjust the distance to 100. And switch the direction to invert mouse. Alright, so let's take a quick preview. So now you can see that the two rock is moving in the opposite directions. Um, so that we can have an illusion that the one on the right is in the front and the one on the left is in the back. Overall, I think it's working very well. So the last thing we need to do is to finish the page by adding the headers with the logos and these buttons on the top right corners. So it's pretty straightforward. So all we need to do is to create another container. Go to the right panel, turn on the advanced sizing and set the width to 100%. And align it to the top and now you can manually adjust the height of the container and then reduce the background opacity to zero and you can add elements to this container by go to this menus media and upload your own uh, SVG assets so I have two files here so just need to drag it into this UI over here and then let's select this white logos and add to the page and from here you can adjust the sizing to fit the container and then align it to the left and let's scroll down here and create a margin by 4% and do the same for this hamburger button so now we have the responsive header like this and finally let's finish the page by adding some body text And then let's add a CTA button right underneath this body text. And change the colors to white and change the text color to black. And also change to a bolder font. And adjust the corner radius so we can have this peel shape button like this. And now I'm going to select this button and the paragraph below and click on this stack buttons. So with this stack group, you can easily control the layout of these two elements. So I'm going to move this below and then you can go to the right panels and adjust the spacing between these two elements. So, uh, so let's reduce the spacing to 5% and make sure to add a margin to the bottom of the screen like this. So finally, this is what the end result looks like. So I think it's looking very cool and it's working very smoothly. And once it's done, you can click here to publish the site and it will give you this default domain. You can click here to preview it in the actual site. Bam, beautiful.
So this brings up a lot of possibility that you can do. So I highly recommend it to give it a try and let me know what you came up with. So this is the end of my tutorial today. So I hope you find this one helpful and I'll see you in the next one.